why you're calling me, but we'll move on. <laughs> Fox News alert. New York Times just posting a major piece on its website. It's an exhaustive report on what happened in Benghazi, Libya in September of 2012 and the attack that left four Americans dead, including our ambassador there, Christopher Stevens. The Times is reporting and suggesting that they couldn't find any evidence that Al Qaeda or other international terrorist groups had any role in that assault. It also suggests the deadly attack was in part due to anger at an American-made video seen as anti-Islam. This goes against much of Fox News' own reporting. Now let's bring the congressman back. A Congressman King, not only against our reporting, but everything else we knew up until this point. Why? Right. Uh, first of all, I don't agree with the premise of the New York Times. They're saying that this shows Al Qaeda was not involved. The group that was involved, which they say was involved, was Ansar al Sharia, which is part of the Al Qaeda network. While it's not officially linked to Al Qaeda, in all the years I've been briefed on intelligence matters, Ansar al Sharia is considered part of the Al Qaeda network, supporters of Al Qaeda, and they have a training camp right out near Benghazi. So uh, I've known all along that it was Ansar al Sharia, and I consider that to be an Al Qaeda affiliate, the same as. You have Boko Haram, or you have uh, hmm. uh, even uh, a Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. So I, I think the New York Times, this is an academic debate. The fact is, this is an Al Qaeda supporting organization, and there's certainly links between Al Qaeda and Ansar al Sharia. And that's the new world we face, where you're going to have these uh, startup organizations around the world. You know, I do want to point out that these were excerpts from a from six chapters of a book that that are coming. And, and sometimes right. you have to question, you know, when somebody's trying to sell a book, what goes in it, and so on and so forth. Real quickly, your response in terms of moving forward with Benghazi and an investigation. Oh, I think we still have to have investigations. The intelligence committee and other committees Will in the we Congress have, them? have to go forward. I, I certainly hope so. I'm, I'm certainly pushing for it. And the Intelligence Committee, by the way, under Chairman Mike Rogers in the House, is going forward. We've had uh, uh, people who were at the, at the compound that night who were under attack. They've come in and testified before us. So we are accumulating a great deal of information as clear that there was not adequate security. And it's also very clear this was an organized, systematic attack with very skilled mortar operators. This was no kind of mob at all. And to the extent a video was involved, that was really peripheral to the whole situation. This was an organized attack by Ansar Al Sharia, which is an Al Qaeda okay. affiliate uh, in, in actual practice. Uh, Congressman, in one word, what would you say about this New York Times report? Of what I've seen so far, it's misleading because it's, okay. uh, it's uh, making a distinction without a difference. Good to see you. Thank you. Happy holidays and thanks for being Thank with you. us. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year to you. Thanks. thanks. New reaction pouring in on the news. Duck Dynasty is going to resume production on A&E with its patriarch. He's returning after briefly being suspended. Gay rights and other civil rights groups.